they're playing very entertaining rugby. Uh, they seem to have a, a very good side, um, good squad. But unfortunately, they've, uh, that, uh, that elusive win has eluded them. And uh, I think they've got to go and try and get, it, you know, get, get that monkey off their back. And uh, they've got a, a fantastic opportunity now. The start of the Six Nations, I feel, the, big, the first game is, is massive. Uh, England wears in, in Cardiff. Whoever wins that game, I think, will do exceptionally well in the, in the championship. I think it's, it's vitally important for Wales to have confidence, as indeed the other teams will be trying to do the same thing, but to have confidence from winning. Uh, winning becomes a, a, a wonderful habit, and uh, I think, you know, uh, it's, it's something that's been missing from the Welsh performances in, in the last year or two. I think it's going to be tough things. A lot, certainly a lot closer run than, than it has been for a long time. Uh, if the autumn series and everything else, uh, you know, play, uh, takes into to account, I think that probably there'll be a bit of a doggy dog in this championship. Um, so I can't see any outright Grand Slam winners. Um, but Wales have got a very good side that we've seen during the uh, autumn internationals. They can't quite finish it off, so they have to be a little bit uh, uh, more uh, lethal in their finishing. Ireland, Wales. Um, uh, France and, and England are, are close, and any one of those could win the championship. Scotland need to score tries. Uh, they've got, you know, a great scrum. They've got a great defence, but un unfortunately, the problem they have, they don't score enough tries, and they're always going to be in a dogfight. Whether it's against, you know, Wales, England, France, or even Italy, they need to score tries to get away from sides, and unfortunately, they don't do it. When you look at the teams, you know, you, you've got the likes of Ireland that are, are always there, thereabouts, very experienced side. Um, you know, the only problem with Ireland is when they get, get a few injuries, they, they lose their consistency. Um, but, you know, we've got them at home as well, which again is our advantage. But they are going to be tough, they are going to be, you know, come first or second at the end of, uh, uh, end of the Six Nations, I, I imagine. England, I thought, uh, played very well in the, in the autumn games. Uh, certainly against Australia, you know, they, they, they look to be playing really effective rugby there. Uh, good combination, good forwards at the moment. I think they've had a few slight injuries uh, in key areas, um, but you know you can never write them off again. Our home game, which gives us a little bit of an advantage, uh, and that's our first game as well, so that's going to be really tough. Um, France, what can you say about France? I'd, you know, it depends what what, what French side turn up on the day. Um, you know, world-class players, world-class team, uh, just very di difficult to predict both on and off the field, you know, uh, uh, if you're a betting man, you, you don't bet much money on France because they could, they could turn up and win by 60 points or they could turn up and lose by 50 points. So, um, you know, but again, you know, deadly side and it's going to be difficult, especially playing out in Paris as well for us. Um, Scotland, again, um, you know, we, we've got to go up to Murrayfield, a very difficult place to go and play and win. And, and Scotland certainly seem to be a team that um, when push comes to the shove, when they're under pressure, you know, they, they seem to perform and pull out their hat, so um, it is going to be tough. Italy as well, you know, our side that progress in year in, year out. Um, again, I don't know what kind of squad it, Italy are going to bring, um, but again, on, the, on their day, uh, never a side that, that lie down and give up as well. So, And there's us, of course. Um, perhaps didn't, play, didn't have the best of autumn games. Um, probably could have, should have, and nearly beat... Uh, South Africa, Australia, uh, Australia, South Africa, and New Zealand, uh, even having not played that well. But on our day, you know, I, I still say that uh, we can beat anyone. So, yeah, this is a mix for a good Six Nations, really. It's going to be um, very, very interesting, closer uh, than maybe any any other tournament that's, there, that's been. So, it's uh, but the first game is is crucial.